Happy Valentine's Day. When I first met Christy, I, I'll never forget, it was a beautiful sunny day and the birds were chirping. We were in Washington, D.C. and it was just like a picture perfect day. When I met Sean in Washington, D.C. 1985, it was hot and muggy and I've never been in humidity like that in my life. It was summer and it was raining and pouring and it was the most miserable day I've ever experienced. When I met Christy, I'll never forget, she was infatuated with me. She couldn't keep her eyes off me. She was staring at me from across the uh, hotel lobby and uh, it was actually a little bit awkward. When I met Sean, I felt like somebody was staring at me and I look over on this RV and I see this guy taking pictures of me. It was very weird and very awkward. When I met Christy, having her stare at me, I realized how infatuated she was with me and I bet that she was probably thinking, oh my God, I would do anything to date that guy. When I met Sean, after our two-week trip in Washington, D.C., I went home and I told my parents, hey, I met this really cool guy. He's super, super funny, but I would never date him. After we got back from our trip to Washington, D.C., all Christy wanted to do was be with me, and so she was already 16 and I was 15, and she would drive me around everywhere. It was kind of like she was a cougar of the time. When we got back from our trip, Sean used to call me all the time, for rides for for me to drive him and his goofy friends around and uh, since I'm the one with the car I I that's what I did I drove all of his goofy friends around it was crazy after we were back in Arizona for a while and uh, a dance was coming up a homecoming dance and I had so many choices and so many girls that wanted to go to the dance with me but you know what I decided that since Christy was so cool I would invite her but I really didn't need to, but I decided to take her to the homecoming dance, and that was kind of like our first date. Our first official date was homecoming, and Sean played the, oh, what was me, uh, hey friend, I don't have anyone to take to the dance, could you do me a big favor and go to the dance with me because, uh, hey, I don't have anyone to go with, so I felt sorry for him, and I went to the dance with so him. So we go to our homecoming dance, and uh, of course she's all over me. Um, <laughs> and. The uh, next week was her homecoming dance, and of course, guess who she calls? Okay, I did invite Sean to my homecoming dance, but it was out of true, pure desperation. I was the, the class president, so I was in charge of doing the floats for the homecoming, and that consumed all my time, so all of a sudden I realized, oh my gosh, homecoming, I don't even have a date, what am I supposed to do here? So. Um, I did ask Sean to go to my homecoming. So there it was, the second homecoming in two weeks over at uh, Horizon High School. Christy, of course, begging me to go with her. And again, all over me, you know, Journey comes on and she's just, you know, hugging me and trying to kiss me. And uh, I'm just like so over it because it's like, you know what, this is two weeks in a row. I don't know if we can, I can take much more of this girl. Actually, I remember uh, Sean being a perfect gentleman and praying before our, we went out on our date and treating me with the utmost respect and being super sweet and us having a great time. I don't remember anybody being all over anybody at so all. So there I was in my pure white Miami Vice tuxedo, white cummerbund and bow tie just looking really good, super tan. I think I even used some peroxide on my hair to make it lighter. And uh, I was a stud that night, I, I, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, that was my night to shine. And Christy just was in awe and enamored with how beautiful I was that night. Do you guys remember the goofy guy in 16 Candles? That's exactly how Sean acted, and that's a lot like how he looked. He was not a stud Miami Vice guy at all. But he's still kind of cute. So no matter how you remember it, the important thing is that you're in love and that you love each other. I love you so much. <laughs> I love you too. Mwah. Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. So if you want to copy a God's Word, hit us up. The Sydney Word for free.